What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today I'm going to be talking about another EV company and this one is absolutely roaring. It is on fire and that is going to be NEO. So if you're interested in NEO, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. I really break down Neo for you I ask that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel it has been absolutely amazing to see the growth of this channel and where we're headed if you guys enjoy stocks stock news business and many other topics I ask that you subscribe to my channel It'd be greatly appreciated man oh man I could not wait to bring you guys this video I was pumped I couldn't wait you know Neo it stands for clear blue skies and that's what they envision they literally envision clear blue skies that's why they're converting to EVs I mean they're really trying to fight against pollution hitting our atmosphere and you know I have to give them props congratulations guys because they're trying to change just like the United States is trying to change and many other countries are trying to change they're pushing for a little bit more green type vehicles and you know it's it's important it really is now what actually is neo well they're gonna be an electric vehicle company and they're gonna be based out of Shanghai China peek on over here and give you their lineup because I think it's pretty unique and it's actually pretty cool so to this day they currently have four vehicles in their lineup and the first one is gonna be the ES6 it's gonna be a four-door somewhat mid-size SUV um, and it actually looks really nice the next one is going to be the ES8 and that is another midsize type SUV it might be a little bit larger but it's a four-door midsize SUV then there's an EC6 which is a sedan hybrid and it almost looks like a car but it has some SUV type features and then there is the EP9 and holy cow this thing is a race car unreal it looks really cool by the way so those are their four cars in their lineup and they do so much more than just have this lineup of vehicles the next major thing that neo is a part of is it's called neo power and this is going to be an internet based type charging and it's actually very unique it's actually really cool um, obviously Neo has been putting charging stations out they supply charging stations to people and it's I mean it comes with the deal and so it's actually really cool for how they're doing it in China on top of that they also have a mobile service that will drive out to you say it's almost similar to like our roadside assistance and what they'll do is they'll drive out say you're too far away from a charging station and you might be in dire need of some electricity it's almost like a jump start. They'll uh, supply you the energy you need and it'll get you going. I think that's very unique and actually pretty cool, especially since, you know, we're still evolving. Um, I mean, obviously China has that going for them. You know, the United States and, and many other countries are still evolving and growing with the times when it comes to this EV market. I mean, we really have a couple players in the United States when it comes to charging stations but that is one area I think that can really be capitalized on and hit if they really wanted to because the major one off the top of my head is just blink so a lot of people are probably gonna be like well Lucas what is your opinion what is the price point where do you see this thing going so here's my take on this and this is before I break into the chart I think that if Neo can really solidify the Chinese market because we know that Tesla is is inside China if Neo can solidify the Chinese market and really start stealing a lot of the sales away from Tesla in that market and really continues to, to build that bond and can grow within the European market and eventually find its way maybe to the United States I think this this company can give a you know a major player like Tesla and all the other EV companies I've done videos on 
they can give them a run for their money i mean there is so many capabilities in any aspect when you're talking about the electrical vehicle market i mean you have workhorse who is solely focusing on the the you know the last mile delivery type vehicles you have nikola and hylion focusing on the tractor trailer aspect you have tesla who is in the, you know the personal vehicles and they're starting to get into the trucks you know maybe they'll eventually get to the tractor trailers and maybe they could eventually you know get into some type of last mile delivery service there's so many aspects to the electrical vehicle market with even charging stations charging ports um and and just we haven't even scratched the surface in my opinion so back to what i was saying if neo can find a way to really solidify their market sell vehicles really start to sell vehicles and get out and spearhead in their country and move out i think that this stock could see some crazy limits as you guys know and if you've been tracking this stock and even the stock market to see this thing it's been up well over 55.3 percent this thing is just it's it's going you know it had a day where it dipped off real bad we had a pretty uh, big sh uh, short i believe but since then this thing has just continued to climb it's that time chart breaking down time so let's neo on over here and dive into this bad boy so today we opened at thirteen dollars and twenty five cents we got as high as fourteen dollars and thirteen cents we got as low as twelve dollars and forty two cents and we have had some absolute crazy volume but before i get into that today we closed at fourteen dollars and nine cents that was up one point eight one percent and in the after hours it closed at fourteen dollars and twenty three cents that is again up 0.99 percent now the volume today's volume was extraordinary and with a stock like this it's gonna be like that guys this is in heavy news and it's been heavily traded as of late um and it's 52 week high is 1644 and i think we're gonna get back to that pretty quickly um and it's 52 week low is a dollar 19 i don't see that happening at all and its average volume is 92 million holy cow i mean there's other stocks out there that are doing that but for a company like this 92 million that is that's awesome so i'm gonna show you guys something a little bit different um it's a six month chart and the reason is is because i really want you guys to understand how i look at this stock um and i actually own this thing back in january when it was you know well below five dollars and the reason is is because i just heard about it and i got in and I, it just never did anything but back to the chart so in january we hit about a little over five dollars probably about six dollars and it was almost like it was resistance and then we really kind of fell off hit some pretty big lows just like everything else did in march with the coronavirus obviously impacting china probably their you know their factory shutting down so much stuff so obviously we hit a pretty pretty big low for them and then it staggered out of you know there in april and i want you guys to really focus on june and just like every stock i've talked about that's been ev related you will notice right around that time they've had an explosion when it comes to the stock price and it's just because in my opinion all the evs just really just start taking over the stock news and all these day traders and short sellers and all kinds of people really started playing the ev market very very heavily so when that happened these companies started to take off obviously neo is is putting cars out and they've had production and there's nothing that's discrediting them in that aspect i just think with all the news regarding ev this thing shot up now it's going to keep going i mean this thing is is a headliner it really is if this was a boxing match they would be a headliner i mean i'm being serious so this thing skyrocketed and it's gonna i think it's gonna blow past that 52 week high of 16 dollars and 44 cents and i don't think it's gonna have an issue that run from june until to, to current today was a 263 percent climb i mean let that sink in 
a 263% climb. You know, Workhorse was a little bit higher, but this has been pretty consistent. I mean, that's that's a monster run for a company that was below $5 for a long period of time. Now, NEO is a force to be reckoned with. They really are. I mean, they are gonna make a wedge in this EV market. There's no question. And I would tell you, if this thing ever cools down and comes back to somewhat of an earth, then you know you could climb in and maybe get some shares but as of late this thing just keeps on climbing so maybe $14 is a good price <laughs> but in all seriousness you guys know how I do it if you enjoy this video smash that like button it helps out tremendously and if you enjoy the content because I'm gonna keep the content flowing subscribe to my channel and as always <laughs> have a good day